Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Uh, with this video, I thought I'd show a little bit more of the inside scoop. So here's the paper I use. It's a Canson Bristol smooth acid free paper. And I'll scroll up there. You can see the acid free on the outside of the, the pad. And I already pre-cut a piece. There's what I'm working on. It's probably about three to four inches um, in in size and there's just kind of laying out I've got an odd light that lights up my work area and there's my Copic multi-liner and my short little stubby pencil but it gives a scale reference there's my quarter so I'll get that set up and and then it's kind of back to what I normally start my videos with so here's the start of it I'm going to be drawing uh, Kelvin and Hobbes uh, on their marks to get ready for the race, whatever race they're doing. I don't remember that part of it. And so I typically start with a facial feature. In this case, I'm starting with Kelvin's nose and his eyes. And then from there, I'll work down the, the bottom of his uh, mouth. It seems like his lower jaw is usually a, a little bit triangular or, or pointed. Um, so I'll keep drawing from that and I'll just let you watch here. Thanks again for checking it out. Uh, please subscribe and share if you haven't.
Okay, so I'm pretty much done with my Copic multi-liner. There's the uh, quarter for scale. You can see it covers up the two of them. And I'm just adding a, a little bit of shading or shadowing look underneath them because they're so close to the ground there. And then I'll move on to my Copic sketch markers. There are two ends to these markers. One is the broad chisel point, and that's what you're seeing right now. The other is the fine tip, and of course that's what I end up using because I'm working on these small little drawings. So at first I had to start with the pink to get uh, Kelvin's tongue in there, and then I'm using that cotton pearl to get his skin tones. From there I'll take care of his shirt and hair and and uh, Hobbs's orange, and I'll let you watch. Thanks again for checking it out. At the end here I'll show you how I end up putting it into that thick acrylic display case. All right, so I've got the date on there. Now I'm showing um, the next step in my process. There's a, the two by three inch uh, acrylic display case and I need to end up uh, trimming down my paper so it fits. My cardboard there is to protect the desk. So I'm laying that on my cardboard so I don't cut through there with my, kind of like a box cutter, uh, you know, craft um, blade. So I'm kind of centering it here. I have to, kind of do some little outtakes and so on because I'm trying to video and do this at the same time, so bear with me. There's the knife that I'll end up being uh, using. I'll cut around each of the four sides and then I use the scissors to get a clean cut on it as well. So that's what, there we go. So like I said, splicing the video together. Uh, you can see I had to do some clean up there. And then I'm uh, putting the, back part it's a two-piece magnetic uh, thick acrylic there's the top and the bottom um, from there i i'll shut the camera off and you know get it to fit in there without uh, coming out of the edges or sticking out so there it is once it's in the frame or the display case and i just thought it'd be kind of neat to show you you know the process to that that i'm drawing on a bigger piece of paper and ends up looking pretty good i think in that display so Thanks again for checking out the channel and um, hope you have a good day. Thanks.